up Sparkle Buds? Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make this really cute Rilakkuma and Kiratori uh, pumpkins. Um, I decided to inspire it based off of Rilakkuma wearing a pumpkin costume which is why there's only a portion of just his face painted um, and I also really like painting pumpkins but at the same time I like carving them so I figured I'd add the two together and that's why I did that if you're wondering why why did you even paint it if you were going to just carve it um, it looks cute during the day and it looks cute during the night I hope you guys enjoy this video and if you do please leave a comment like the video and also if you haven't already subscribe okay so you're going to need two pumpkins one is going to be uh, like just a medium size <clears throat> and then a small pumpkin this one's going to be Rilakkuma, this one's going to be Kiratori. Then you're going to need a hot glue gun, obviously, uh, the glue sticks, a uh, face template for Rilakkuma, uh, scissors, cardboard, orange, black, yellow, brown, and white paint, a variety of paint brushes, uh, carving knives, and I'm using a bowl and a spoon as well for the seeds because I'll have another video on how to make something really yummy with the pumpkin seeds and you'll also need something to mark with. So we're going to take our carving knife and we're just going to go ahead and cut out the top of the pumpkin like you traditionally would and uh, also it's totally safe to cut towards yourself. Not. Now we're going to clean out our pumpkin and I'm actually going to be keeping the seeds. Uh, like I said, I'm going to be having another video at some point with a yummy recipe for pumpkin seeds. So yeah, hold on to those things because they actually make a really good snack. <laughs> so both the inside and the top part of the pumpkin should be completely clean. So now we're going to take our Rilakkuma face template and we're going to go ahead and start poking and making little dots so we know exactly where and what to carve out for our pumpkin. Once that's ready, go ahead and cut along that dotted line. And once again, continue to keep cutting towards yourself just like I'm doing because I apparently have never taken any safety classes, especially with knives. Now fully carved out, the face should look like this. We're going to take our cardboard and we're going to draw out in the shape of Rilakkuma's ear. You're going to want to do this twice since Rilakkuma has two ears, duh. And yeah, of course you're going to have to cut it out. And then you're going to glue those suckers right onto Rilakkuma's head. Uh, try your best in the positioning because I feel like the ears are what really makes Rilakkuma. And so far it should look like this. This is actually looking a lot better than I had originally imagined, so I'm like super happy. So I highly recommend drawing out the little white muzzle part before you start painting, just like that little blue line that I have there. And we're going to go ahead and start painting Rilakkuma's face, uh, the color brown. And remember, we're making it look like he's inside of a costume, so don't do the entire pumpkin brown. Once you've done that, now we're going to add on the details like the white part of his muzzle and we're going to also add the yellow in his ears. And during this time, we're also going to paint Kiratori, who is in the background yellow. And now our Rilakkuma is done! Now we have to move on to Kiratori's face. Painting Kiratori's face is actually really, really easy. Um, but I'll go ahead and let you guys enjoy watching me just do some painting. Um, I don't really do anything particularly interesting, but yeah, I mean, it's really, honestly, really easy to do. This is actually probably the easiest part of this entire tutorial.
And that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, be sure to subscribe, like, and leave a comment. Let me know what you'd like to see next. Toodles!